Welcome back, dear listeners. It's time once again to put aside all you think you know, all you believe to be true. Time to open your mind to the strange, bizarre, and sometimes terrifying world that exists in the shadows and fringes of our own, where myth, legend, and rumor are made real. Yes, it's time for more thrilling Tales from the West Virginia Hills. Not all creatures are of the land. Some stalk the skies. One such boogeyman has been reported for generations by mystified West Virginians. Its name remains the same, but accounts and speculation about its nature vary wildly. Some say man, others say beast, some say devil, others say angel. Tonight's tale, The Mothman Cometh begins in Morgantown Municipal Hospital. We join young Mary Scarberry's bedside as she wakes, looking a little worse for wear. Nurse? N- Nurse Handy? Are you there? Right here, ma chérie. And how are you feeling? Perhaps another steam pack will help. Oh, is she awake? There she is. I heard her voice. How's my brave little girl? Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I'm doing okay. We've been worried sick. Oh, you gave us such a fright. Uh, Howdy, folks. Awful sorry to disturb you at this hour. Mary, this is Sheriff Johnson. He just wants to ask a few questions. Well, from what I hear, you're downright lucky to be alive, Miss Mary. You kids went through quite an ordeal. Stephen, buddy... Are they okay? Uh, let's just have a little chat first, Mary. Now, do you remember how you came to be on the Fayetteville Railroad Bridge yesterday? Well, going to the bridge was really Buddy's idea. Come on, Mary. Don't whip out. Every kid's got to do it sometime. But... Buddy, you know I'm plumb scared of heights. How far you reckon that drop is, Steve? My daddy says a thousand feet. I, I heard it's two thousand feet. Plenty of time to say last words and final prayers before you hit the river. Stop teasing me. I told y'all I'm nervous enough already. Come on. Quit your stalling. Here, watch me. There's nothing to it. Buddy, be careful. Last one across is a wild egg. Here goes. Atta girl, come on. Slow down. I gotta take my time. You're doing swell, Mary. I don't know. I don't think I can go any further. You can't chicken out now. Just put one foot in front of the other. Hey, y'all, look. Up in the sky. Dang, what is that? It's too big to be a bird. Wait, I know what it is. See how its eyes are glowing red? It's the Mothman! It's flying right toward us! Yeah! That was close! Steve! Mary! Get off that bridge! Plane coming! The train! Oh no! Grandpa says that the Mothman's a sign of bad things. I bet that means the train's gonna derail. Or maybe the bad thing is the train squashing us like Jumbo. What are we gonna do? We can't jump. And it's too late to run. The train's almost here. Look out! That thing's coming back. Mothman snatching me and Steve just before the train ran us over. Sheriff, I know it sounds crazy, but I reckon it saved my life. Well, now that's quite a tale, Mary. You do believe me, don't you? I swear that's how it all happened. 
Just ask Buddy and Steve. They'll tell you the same story. Go on, ask them. Uh, 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 Mr. and Mrs. Scarberry, uh, uh, could I speak to you uh, outside a moment? Of course. Sweetheart, we'll be right back. You just get some rest. A nurse, could you please get her something to eat? Right away, madam. One Salisbury steak with extra gravy coming up. We'll have your heightest rain in no time, my sherry. What do you think, Sheriff? Mary's not one to fib, but that story. All I know is that she was found unconscious by the river without so much as a scratch. So then you think she was telling the truth about this? Mothman saving her and, and those boys? Well, that's the thing about it, ma'am. Those other boys weren't as lucky as Mary. The grim truth is that both were found dismembered way up in the top of a tree. On top of a... Oh, you don't think... What's that sound? It sounds like a... Right in. The nurse is torn to pieces, too. Right this way. Right this way. Mary, she's gone. What's happened to my sweet Mary? Do something, Sheriff. Do something. Yet another chilling reminder, dear listeners, to always watch your back, your left, and your right. Be careful of your step and the ground beneath your feet. But most of all, don't forget to watch the skies above. For you never know what frightful terrors might be lurking overhead. Be sure to tune in next week for another thrilling chapter of Tales from the West Virginia Hills.